welcome to the author video show right here, Santa Cruz Waves Facebook page. Something near and dear to me tonight, we're talking about soccer, football, in Santa Cruz, California. It's about to change, it's about to get better, it's about to get huge. I'm going to find out with these lovely people, let me turn the screen around because even I'm tired of looking at myself. <laughs> Boom. I'm going to start with this beautiful lady right here. She is going to start the show. We're going to talk about soccer in Santa Cruz and beyond. Go. Who are you? The late Bud Roscoff. Okay. So we're actually here in Santa Cruz. We live in Santa Cruz. And we're just going to be leveling up the whole soccer game. How? Where? When? So right here next to me, I have a really solid team that we came in. You know, the breakers that have been here, in, the breakers that have been here in Santa Cruz for, I, I think the inception was 1992. Almost 20 years. Yeah, almost 20 years. And it's a recreational soccer team. Um, they've done incredibly well through the years, uh, about COVID. But um, I think, you know, we came in because we saw that there was a need to restructure and uh, level up the playing. Okay. Now, you know, Lepa Roscoff, you're, you're married to this guy here, Rob Roscoff, but your deal is you have a jewelry company, correct? Yes. And the jewelry company sponsored the team? Yes. So okay, the so jewelry, jewelry company has come in to, yes. Okay. And who can you introduce me to the guy on the right here? The good looking fellow over here in the white shirt. This is an ex soccer player from uh, Europe okay. who played, and I think he can tell you the level that he's played at and, and what he's bringing to the table. Your name, sir? I'm Nisha Savage. Okay, uh, from, from Croatia? No, I'm in Montenegro, ex Yugoslavia, and France. I'm second French citizens, and uh, I played professional 20 years, played for. Montenegro teams, Budućnost, Podgorica, after I moved in the Partizan Belgrade, champions two and two Coupe Yugoslavia, and play for uh, national team Yugoslavia, 33 games. And 33 caps? Yes. Nice. And the World Cup 98 in the France with right. Yugoslavia, and uh, Euro 2000, play in Champions League. And I'm decision after passing my license in the Serbia Association and moving to the United States before okay. four, four years and yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna come back to you in a minute, okay? I'm gonna go over here to the right, Mr. Rob Roscoff. What the heck? Hi you, Neil. Wait, what the heck are you doing? How are you? I'm good, my friend, you're good. Nice to see you. We've Thanks been, for we, coming. We've been trying to set this show up for a long time. We have. Right? Yeah, we're, we're a little fun. slow, but you know things yeah, good things take time as we all that's know. that's right. And uh, so tell me about what your you know, inclusion is this, because you obviously were a skateboarder for many, many moons. Yes. Uh, involved with Santa Cruz, bicy Santa Cruz Bicycles for many, many moons. Yes. Now, I don't know what the hell you're doing now, but now you're... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hang out with you. you know, <laughs> yeah. cool. I don't want you to hang out with me. <laughs> so now, but you get, you were, you've, you've been involved uh, with this for a while. You talk, you've been talking about this for quite a while. Yeah, like okay. I said, you know, good things take time. We're... Uh, we're, we were fortunate, uh, Leip and, and Nisha struck uh, a deal with the Breakers uh, FC Football Club, uh, then what, about a year and a half, roughly? Anyway. Uh, two and a half, right? Okay, time flies, COVID, right. excuse me. Anyway, uh, so uh, the interest for us was, uh, one, uh, the big part is, obviously we want to give back to the community. All, all of our children played club soccer from they were, when they were little. To, in right. the high school. Right. right. So uh, part of it is giving back to the community, building something that benefits the community for businesses, etc. Blah blah blah. Um, for me personally, and, and for uh, for us, really, Lepa, uh, it's it's giving back. But I wanted to. I'm going on to the next thing. I kind of do one thing and move on. That's right. kind of always been my thing. Like right. I said, skateboarding. Right. Uh, be it bikes. The soccer thing is another project that really uh, is exciting because the potential is huge, and uh, we'll kind of get into that as we go. And you've talked about it for quite a while, right? Yeah. I mean, we talked about it for a while. But your boys, your boys, all, your boys all play soccer? Yeah, both the girls and our, our son play. Yeah, yeah club and soccer. And who's this guy over here? Can you pass that microphone to the guy with the right? Sure. <laughs> this 
That's a good-looking fellow right there. Yes. Right? Very handsome. Very handsome Very chap. handsome. I agree. Right. <laughs> He's not embarrassed. He's like, <laughs> totally, totally. A, yeah. And his okay. accent, too. Huh? Wow. Yeah. You know, right? The You've got three accents. accents here in an American. <laughs> okay. And you are? My name is Arnaud Viodi. I'm from uh, France, and I used to work for the Bordeaux, Jordan Bordeaux Football Club. Are they uh, La Liga? That's La Liga? They play in Ligue, uh, in Ligue okay. 1, yes. And, you're, and, you, and now you're coaching for the Breakers? No, no, at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm here for holidays and to help Nisha and Lepa and Rob uh, adopt the uh, profession, professionals of, of, the, of the club. Right. Uh, so that's why I'm here and I try to help them about that with my experience at uh, Jean Bordeaux during 20 years. What's a couple, what, what couple of things have you changed? Can you change that you think needs to be changed over there at the at the, at the breakers? And, and what things are they working on correctly? Do you think? That's a huge question. I know. <laughs> I only answer big one. I got big questions. Yeah. And I think that the first thing is uh, Nisha is the best play, is the best person pl placed here to answer that question because uh, the principle today is about the organization. Uh, of the club, right. and so I think Nisha is the best place to okay. answer so I'm this question. Okay, I mean, why why the break the, why why the breakers and and uh, do you think they can do you think you can formulate something that you have in Europe to uh, to what they what they're trying to do over here? It will be different because we're in uh, we're in the United States and California. Yeah, but we can uh, help uh, the U.S. soccer and the breakers with our experience. But we have to adapt it with American, uh, how do you say, uh, way of uh, thinking, way yeah. of doing. Yeah. And so that's why we cannot come here and say we'll do as we do in France. It cannot work. It's not like that it can work. We have to uh, take the difference and come with what we know how to do it. Yeah. And to make progress, uh, the club right. and the staff and coach and players. The other day we, when I came down there to the, to the Cabrillo, yeah. there was the World Cup that was there. Yeah, true. Right, which is now owned, which is now in the hands of the French. Yes. Do you think ever at one time? It'll, do you think ever in the future it'll be in the hands of the United States? I think it's possible. Yes. There's a lot of players, you know, United States young players. I used to play in soccer in the United States at the beginning of the eighties. Yeah. And there was already a lot of players, and I think there's enough people, enough talent in the United States to become world champion in four, maybe more, eight years. Uh, in the future, yes. Through the players, I, I mean, are you just are you just working with the players, or are you are you also working with the coaches? For my part, yeah. Uh, I play. <laughs> I I work for the club. Okay. And the club is coaches and players. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, that's probably more question for him, huh? Maybe. So we go over here, Nisha. Yeah. Uh, are you training? Are you? Tra I know you training. The, are you training the coaches and the kids? Yes, it, this club it's uh, needed. All, it's big about the transition. What Chilepa and Rob, it's exactly for community. Yes, yeah. the all the knowledge we are involved with the competition people like Europe, mm -hmm. but uh, the United States and America is basically something very interesting for progression about education, coaching, American, and coming with the program and. Uh, Curriculum and for example, French Federation. We are working about this point. It'd be very very interesting <coughs> for future aspect uh, growing the club uh, for community. Okay. Yeah. Give me th give me three things that you would like to see changed. Do you have in your head three things that need to be changed here with with the United with the United States soccer that you can bring and that need to be changed and you can instill in the kids. It's more practice and uh, the the about the knowledge and about uh, the the program is be is be changed but the good thing for this program involved here it's more simple but kids it's very very motivated it's very professional very concentrated that it's very easy uh, show you kids something uh, important about education and uh, men like I talk a lot of um, American coaching right. he's there is very very interesting uh, bringing something to Europe it's I know see you now problem the ego it's it the, the, this is a community needed uh, uh, needed the, 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 the teaching and progress and something for all the aspect about about uh, Europe and European experience. 
Yeah. Rob, can I ask you a question? Uh, how, when, you, when you approach the breakers, right, how do they feel about uh, you, you know, a, you bringing something to the table? Were they excited about it or like, no, or were they, did sometimes- I, I wasn't initially involved. Okay. Uh, it was more Letha and Nisha. Okay. But uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, they built a great club and uh, Bringing the FFF in now, and there's other things we'll. The FFF mention. being the French Football Federation. Yeah, so that's that's really the first time in the U.S. Other than I think maybe they did something in New York also, yeah. but on the West Coast okay. and the rest of the country is. So the is the French place. Football Federation be involved in the breakers? That we're basically we're yes. using their uh, program, program coaching, training, all that, and instilling it into the club. That's the goal, and it, in order to bring it to the next level. And Lemma, what do you find exciting about this? I mean, you got you know you got all these dudes, all these football players. And, I know all these handsome guys. Right, all these handsome chaps and handsome coaches and stuff. I'm what, lucky. Right, I'm lucky. Is, the community, is the community thing for you, or something you can pull in the community, or are you involved in the uh, more of the day-to-day -day operation, or are you not? You know, I, I'm involved a little bit on the day-to-day. -day. I'm going to be exiting out. I think once we 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 get it solid going um we are in a transition period so yes i'm day to day um i'm really excited about what they talked about the french federation and the methodology that's being infused um i think we're going to have a more consistent you know uh coaching aspect where kids are being coached and trained with tactical stuff and this is where nisha can best talk to um, which I thought our children lacked. Right. So, you know, Rob and I witnessed so much with our children going through soccer and having a father that played heavily and, oh, I was surrounded by professional players in the 70s. Right. Tactically and just the methodology, they were learning wrong. And it's a really, it's a game, a mental game that, you know, I, I really believe. And I feel that that's what we're going to, that's part of the change that we're going to make here. It's, it's going to be more serious and more motivated for uh, more inclusive for all all children. Okay, Nisha, can I ask you a question? So I, I was reading reading today, like a t uh, like Chelsea Football Club, right? They have all these players that are, <coughs> that are uh, playing for so many different clubs, and their youth, their their and their youth, uh, right? Club or club or the youth part of their youth team is huge. And, and the number of players they put out, and they, you know, that it's in, in many other teams. Are you, you guys competing with that or trying to get onto that level? Or it's good question, but a lot of the, the politics of big club like Chelsea, it's uh, make like a lot of different different aspect uh, and take the knowledge and different different the, the the country, the country in the world. That's it's huge for bringing more and educated, take the program in the place. And bringing the talent player that is happened with breakers F F F F federation that will be very helpful for not just for here yeah for all the california and, and the united states that it's like three things in the disc club the future it's recreational for all the community and very comp competition academy and you professional teams that's with all the new new coaches moving here and future with of course the uh, American American new new coaching right. is be very 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 helpful for for community for California for United States. That's its own program for long term, and we be just a little passion about this and uh, and working working hard in the fields. The kids you get the kids that you're coaching right. The school, their, their, the schooling I, is just as important as their, as their soccer, correct? I know, right? I'm not teaching, I observe, I'm director coaching, I be, but I'm involved with honestly a lot of, I'm an expert, I work in uh, Bordeaux and Sochaux, Partizan Begler about organization aspect academy uh -huh. and transition, more right. transition. It's, and we are not a lot of younger, younger, good, good coaching moving here, and a lot of talk about organization of the club, that's Arno is here. And it's more easy, like um, like Rob, his ex athletes, he understand. Lepa, she's a businesswoman, and that's we are in the teams. Of course, with Larry Bigam, he's the growing this club. Paulo Carbone, Teresa Bigam, don't forget this person. He's growing this club for, but will be now. It's another level, and we are needed involved with more and more competition people, all the level about communication, about the. 
technical aspect uh, and it's Santa Cruz it's I'm I'm very motivated it's amazing area and we have the Salinas Watsonville yeah it's right. huge and right. we are working about we have partnership with Salinas in the big Hispanic community yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. Soccer has changed over the last 15 20 years with all this coaching right it, it seems like now that now that now uh, each individual player or each position your goalkeeper coach special uh, you have you know yeah. the, uh, free kick coaches, and you got set plays coaches, and you got the uh, right back coach, left back, left wing back, all these different spots. Where when I grew up playing soccer, yeah, I took my ass down to the park. No, I'm not kidding. No, right? You took your ass down to the park, and you knew your buddies were going to be there. And you played there for hours, and like you skateboarding, right? You didn't have a coach. You just you just did it. You just did it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And hours. It was dark. But Even now, then. Neil, everything is so competitive, all right. sports across the board. Right. I mean, you know, I've seen in skateboarding now, mountain biking, and all the sports I've been involved in. When I was a kid, I played a ton of hockey. Right. It's just the, the tools that we have, especially with this FFF association, enables us to bring the club to a higher level. I, mm -hmm. He can break it down and what they get into, but it, it's pretty mind-blowing to what detail it gets into. Yeah. But can the kids still play and have fun? I mean, sometimes you think, you know, yeah, you get coached so much, can the kids still come to the breakers and, pl and play and have fun as well as being coached? That's, it's FIFA and UEFA, I suppose, all the different age, I right. suppose, first, the kids who love the soccer. You suppose, for example, you 10, 11, 12, oh guys, we are needed, the winner is nice winner, but first, needed a love soccer. For love soccer, we are in a very good program for show you kids love soccer about huge uh, practice and knowledge. That's it. Uh, kids understand now. Right. We are now, for example, amazing U12 generation and it's it played Watsonville. I passed an amazing time the weekend and the big tournaments in Las Vegas. We are that's it's very interesting. All the generation is very important. Yeah. And uh, parents and the kids it's very conscious you show something serious and we are very good program about this that's i'm involved with a lot of different coaching right. and this program fff it be huge right. it's not like just publicity right. it's be changed like kids for example we are in tournaments for you 15 the right. big tournaments in europe and the chelsea manchester Lyon. we are not received today i'm so proud of the Lyon. it's huge tournaments for you 15 of course breakers be here it's not first one breakers Break it's a lot of experience in Italy, probably more in the super tournaments in Milano and uh, another in France. That is another level, and I'm so happy we are receiving officials in the big tournaments in the June with U15 players. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that guy, you know, they, Rob, that works, I think he worked I think he worked for you at the Tanner Cruz Bikes, and his kid was, his kid was there. Oh, yeah, Joel Smith. Was, yeah. Right? If you want to take, you want to take his kid to Europe? Yeah, right. Actually, uh, he wants to go because uh, we have or, or Nisha has a relationship because he played with Partizan, right. which is out of uh, Belgrade, Do Serbia. You? So he's gonna. The plan is to uh, take his son and then you know do like a camp over there. Do you? So is, do you, do you, does anybody here assess him that he's good enough to go there? Is like, uh, you know, yes, yeah, you can go. Well, yeah. he's already on the MLS next with the club. So okay. He's at that level. He's at that level. Yeah. Okay. okay. Partizan is a, I mean, incredible club. It, it's really Which, say just, that again, say that again. Partizan in Serbia is an incredible club. Right. So it's like, in, Nisha has brokered a deal, a deal inside the club to have the children exchange, which is such a, I mean, that's, yeah. if you really love the game, you want to learn the game. And that's part of, I think this is what we're offering. So. Yeah. I think that's really the, uh, from what Nisha tells me, it's, the pinnacle of youth clubs in the world right it's, now. It's the best. I'm thinking yeah, of yeah. another. I'm thinking of another friend of mine, Lyndon Gooch. You know Lyndon Gooch. Yeah. You know Lyndon. Uh, his uh, he plays for Sunderland. Yeah. Sunderland. He played for them in the Premier League. He's, he his dad lives here, and he's Lyndon was born and raised here, and his his brother's a great surfer. But Lyndon yeah. plays oh, still plays for, still plays for Sunderland. But when he was ten, I remember when he was I remember when he was ten years old. He had to go. The, you know, his dad dad got him out of here. Because he knew he wasn't going to do anything here, it took him to. I think uh, he had a, he went to West Ham, and then he went to another team. I forget which one it is. It was West Ham, somebody else. But he signed with Sunderland okay. at, tw at 
eight year, 11 years old, and he's still with him. He's now 28. But back then, you know, there was you back That's then, all you could do. That's all you, you had. You, had you have to leave the United States. You've got to leave the United you States. You've got to go to where, yeah, it where the best it competition is in, right. in order to improve yourself right. and go to that next level. And so that's now, kind of what we're trying to instill with taking the breakers. So the now you can, you can do that here. Exactly. Right. You don't have to go anywhere. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's, yeah. That's freaking cool. That's where we're headed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, about that, there's a, a study about French, sorry. About that, there, there's a study about the French Federation, uh, about p the, the players, the young players who go far away from their house. And they perform, less perform if they are too far from their house because they don't have their family um, and they, their education is difficult. So they better keep them close to their family and to be formed, well formed by good coaches near to their house. Yeah. So it's easier for them to become professional when you're close from your house. Yeah, I'm sure, it's, I'm sure there's a lot of kids that would not want to be thousands of miles away from where they grew up. And you That's have a very scary. big country. Huh? You have a very big we country. We have a very big country. And, you know, I would like to say, Neil, based on what you said earlier with the children, the children have to love the game of soccer, but we do have a problem when they're not learning the game the right way. And so, you know, the, the being taught and understanding tactics and, and that is so critical. And these kids, you could be 10, 12 years old, you could love the game, but if you're not learning right or if you're not being coached right, it's, it's problematic. So the thing is, the one thing, and we saw that with my son, and one thing that we said we want to change the dynamics here is where the kids are being coached, even, I mean, even at 10 years. It's not about winning the game. It's about understanding the game. It's about understanding the field, where to be on the field. And so that's, that, guess, and that's why yeah, we brought in the best coaches. Yeah, it's, it's way different than you know, years ago, having these individual coaches. Exactly. It's, I know. Yeah. No, it's it's pretty crazy how in depth it has gone it's, or become, I should say. What do you want to say? I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> no, you're, doing, you're doing a good. You're doing a good job with the kids. Yeah, it, it just it's it's a lot of opportunity for 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 kids and for for World Cup. That's uh, I would like to add something interesting in the America and the, like MLS. You organize MLS next. It's very very good now it's first year yeah. in the league for you 13 14 15 16 17 and 19 and for for growing the kids and uh, and and growing this this talent player it's it's very very interesting and organize mls it's amazing i think the fred lipka and the people he work about this development it's taken an amazing job and that's a motivating area, new sponsorship and future for prepare something big for World Cup right. 2026. How many kids in the break program? And how many coaches? It's 20 coach and 400 kids. 20 coaches and 400 kids? Yes. Right. That's a good ratio. You know what's funny, but the, when, I was, when I coached the Harbor High, the Rossi team, soccer, I never forget, and most of, the people, most of them are Hispanic, you know, probably 80% was Hispanic, and I never forget, the Harbor High is, not, it's right there. You know where it is. Right. And I remember one. I remember I took over the I took I took over the varsity program. I didn't want to, and then I, I said to the kids the first week I was there, second week I was there. I said we're going to go to the beach and we do some beach training, and none of the Hispanic kids knew where the beach was. And how far is Harbor High from the beach? Half a mile, maybe a mile. Yeah, a mile. I couldn't miles, believe it. Right. Where we get, Where's that? Where's that coach? Wow. Like, right down that street down here. You know, it's it just that's, so. So these kids, they were, they were, they would have run, they would have run through that, they would have run forever for me. You know, that's the way those kids, they, that was their life. Yeah. The Hispanic kids that was there, they, they just, that was their life. But it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. They had the so hunger. So having coached, they huh? Had the hunger. They had the hunger, and they just like they didn't have not, they had no, not they just, but having those you coaching these kids. Having a, a I, solid I, I, program. I'm in the fall in the fields now. The the program it's we are just rating uh, director of methodology Stefan Urbano. He, yeah. He part uh, in the an amazing school now. It's the best school Lyon. The younger player he a lot of experience uh, international development academy like in the Beirut, and he's moving here in the January and to be in the in the one main person for involved with this program. Yeah. Uh, the, the FFF in the fields. Of course, I in the field, I in the path, I correction the player, I talk about psychological aspect, 
talk with coaching. It's very complex. The soccer is edu about education, motivating something very, very hard and be, be uh, like uh, involved and be here all the day talk with parents. But it's challenge amazing. Uh, he's a huge potentiality. And Salinas, I repeat, Watsonville, I'm so, honestly, I'm so happy to be so happy, so happy be here. Yeah. But like some uh, skateboard, surf, and uh, soccer is be huge for community. Do the kids get the chance to play to another, another team? I mean, I talk about coaching and, and practicing, but do the kids get to play other teams around here. There's matches. Are there matches against other? You oh know, yeah, yeah, a yeah? lot of matches. Yeah, MLS next. It's like we have a lot of games. A lot MLS of games. Next, like uh, Sanders, uh, Anzia Force, okay. Earthquakes. That's it's MLS, it's, it, it organizes amazing, uh, the league, it's like U13 play against uh, Portland, uh, Ballistic, uh, Anzia Force, San Francisco area, uh, the, it's, so it's big, something new right. for United, but it's amazing, it's like... You, you talked the other day about, you talked the other day about maybe making the stands bigger, or maybe uh, making this, so making the... Yeah, the, and, and, and the, 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 we're working with Cabrillo, uh, we're in negotiations at this point um, on taking it to another level. We want to expand the fields. We're looking at raising money to do that because it's obviously not a cheap endeavor. But uh, that's happening. So uh, once that happens, uh, there's another possibility. I don't know if you, you want to say it, talk about it or you want me to. But the, you goal, the goal is to bring in an MLS U23 oh, yes. pro team. That, so the, so the, public, the public can come watch. Exactly. Right, oh, yeah. so under 23 pro. I mean, I don't know, you, I think we all know that the Warriors, the, uh, yeah. the uh, farm team, is that yeah. what you call it? Yeah, I think yeah. it's farm team. Farm team yeah. has been a huge success down there. And uh, so that's kind of, I mean, this town's hungry for more live sports. Yeah. And what better area? I mean, it's, uh, and it's they're outside. setting a Cabrillo, it's, it's outside. Out, it's outside, yeah. It, yeah. It and just needs a little modification to stay yeah, yeah, wide sure. a bit, but yeah. then we need some other. Uh, we're going to also raise money for uh, to develop more fields in the back to for practice and other games. The, tur the, the turf field where the grass fields are right now. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we're trying to. So the, we're trying to do the same. We're trying to do three fields. Yeah. And then expand the stadium. Yeah. And right now, just I think working with Cabrillo and trying to deal with the football and all that. So. Okay. Which can, can any kids join or do they get like a, you know, uh, some kind of test that you have to take in order to join the club or can any kid, anybody, anybody watching today, their kid can come sign up? Yeah, you know, we are now the, the, the status club, it's some matter, we are impossible singing, but we are all the interested parents, it's coming with kids, like it's possible, my, you know, my kids is try, of course, mm -hmm. we are open, but the San Jose, we are, we are another team, youth team, a lot of a possibility for uh, bringing the player. San Jose, it's more simple. Santa Cruz is a little tough because yeah. we are on the road very, very, it's a little dangerous. But uh, it, all the, the new kids after COVID time, we knew, of course, it's it's welcome. That's We are open for all the, the, the parents. It's like involved with little kids. And uh, of course, we are stay with us, stay, uh, stay like 10 days, 50 days. After depends the quality, depends something, coaching stuff. We are in the meeting all the week. Talk about uh, talk about the, the these kids and uh, make any report. What you think? That's it's very very complex and uh, parents. It's very 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 happy. But be transparent with parents. Explain it true. Sometimes your kids probably he needed wait some some months so coming next next year it's it's it's, it's interesting the growing a good image the breakers for future what do you see when do you see the program in five years program in five years <clears throat> the, I, I explained you first it's a recreational all the aspect the breakers is important it's not just professional yeah the product the player the this academy yeah and for play for professional and for, of course, for university, yeah. the show you more opportunity for these kids. It's yeah. not like just, of course, uh, for university, it's very, very important, but for play for f the professional teams, you 23 breakers, that is for things, and the, the choice of go to Europe, why not? But it's first like yeah. play for us, that right. is uh, that's its point important.
But well, I think we're very ambitious, and now we have the World Cup coming. So yeah. what, what we're in the transition period now, we're talking with the MLS, of course, for a professional club, and then working with Cabrillo. So where I see us with the U23 is playing in the World Cup. <clears throat> I mean, can, we ask you, can we ask this question, Lepa? Uh, how much does it cost to join? For a kid, how much does it cost? So, uh, what is it? I'm not, you know what, Paulo, who handles the administration? Approximately. Do you know how much it costs to join? And my question is to you, is there a scholarship program for kids yes. that cannot afford to play? So some of the, some of the kids cannot afford That's where Ms. Sahara is coming in, okay. too. So we're so providing, like, we're providing um, scholarships, especially in the Salinas area. Right. Um, uh, I, our goal is to pull from Watsonville, Salinas, and to um, really pull talent and right. make sure that... Oh. It's, it's a good point, Slavo. Just, uh, it's... No, I'm so sorry. No, I just, it's in the future, uh, future aspect for us. It's for, uh, for, for sponsorship. We will, for example, 13, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. For example, don't pay in the, like, in the months, uh, $300. It's aspect. That's it's for us, it, it's very, it's, it's like in the future ambition for yeah. player of scholarship. They don't pay like uh, from a lot of clubs. Did I just say that? <laughs> Like, She's no. doing good. No, I just would like. He's good. Doing good. Yeah, you guys. We should, just what, what's the cost it? per player in MLS next? Was his original question. What was it, is it I. I don't know exactly. It's like a three. How much exactly? How many money? I think it's three or four hundred bucks. I, but but the scholarship program. Yeah. The scholarship program for kids who can't afford it. Yeah, the scholarship yeah. program is laid out. We have the five hundred one c three. So yeah. basically, the five hundred one c three has the money in it to figure out what children. Are, are what children were pulling, what children were actually even uniforms. Right. It's, it's going down to everything, the uniforms, the right, shoes. Right, everything. Travel, absolutely. So it's all inclusive and pulling talent from everywhere. I think the, the key though to your, back to your original point, Yeah. it's not the pro level, but <clears throat> it's the whole thing. So the recreational is a big part. Yeah. So. How do kids get onto the MLS next? Well, yeah. they prove themselves in the recreational, and through the coaching and the development, they you know there's it's tiered like you just you move up as you improve. Gotcha. But that's why we're it's the whole program that makes this really attractive, I think. And the and you know obviously the breaker's been around for a while, and, and Paulo and, and Larry, all the the board members have done an incredible job, and we want to continue that, but just take it to this next level and uh, that's right. the exciting part for us and that's why we want to be part of it and you know get back to well I thank you for many you know any many input for the soccer program you got to thank people and so thank you for you know stepping up to the plate no it's our, it's it's our pleasure about, for sure. give him the microphone and we'll give him okay so where, where are you taking your road show next are you going to, going to another town and and uh, and, and, uh, and try to try to you know my next stop is in Bordeaux in France on uh, Thursday. Yeah. And I go back to France. I, uh, I did my job. You did your job here? Yeah. It's I, over? I helped them and uh, I go back to France to see how I did I gonna, Are you going to come it's back? It's winter over there. It's cold. It's not I like know. here. It's not. It's cold. Yeah. You're going to come back? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, so. I'll yes, come back and yes. uh, help yes. again in a, few, <laughs> in a few months. Speaking of cold, with, with, do you not, guys watch your Premier League not, Saturday? Not do you watch, the, you watch Saturday's games? Snow is coming down sideways. I I Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy. I play a lot of in the Belgrade, so huh? all, the, all the winter. It's nice. Sometimes nice. Yeah. It's okay. Well, so, uh, sponsor of the team is? Well, is Miss Sahara, and also, fortunately, Miss Sahara can pull from other big sponsors. So, yeah. our goal is to actually go out and we're going to pull other sponsorships. We're gonna, you know, raise money, of course, to expand these fields, build out these fields, and inform this professional soccer club. Yeah, and um, this is my last question. Of course, I forgot my last question. What it's gonna be? Gosh <laughs> darn it! Shoot. Um, oh, I know what it was. That's not. Uh, you shut up. Okay, you're the, you're the backup. Yes. <laughs> That's my name. <laughs> just the name. Backup. backup now. <laughs> um, uh, SantaCruzBreakers.com. Am I guessing SantaCruzBreakers.com? 
Do we know? She, you know you what? Know, just Google it. Go to Santa Cruz. Go to Santa Cruz. Yeah, no. huh? We're changing it. It's, okay. It's yeah, it's changing. Changing. There's a new Wait. website coming. So just Google it. Uh, you check it out. You got a, if you got a it's kid. That, Lawrence, there's a brand new website yeah. coming. Okay. Brand new everything. So. Now, if you got a kid who wants to play soccer, this is a great program here locally from Santa Cruz, Watsonville, Salinas, Monterey. Uh, it's a great field. It's a great program and great people, as you've seen on today's show. We guys be good? We're great. Okay. Was that good? That was good. Very good. All right. Go England and go Chelsea <laughs> and Brighton Hope Albion. Vive la France. Vive la France. Vive la France. Perfect. Thanks, asshole.